Hey everybody, how y'all doing? What's going on? Okay, so I just got a tub. And so, okay. So what I did though, okay, so I took a bath. I didn't take a shower. But what I did just now was run. Hold on one second. Yeah, you need a bath. You need a, you need a breakfast ticket. It's over there. All right, so what I did was I let the water from the shower run a little while so that it could heat up because, let me tell you something, and some people, what they do is, good morning. So this is, I'm sorry, let me do the little introduction. How y'all doing this morning? Good morning. All right, so what I'm gonna do, y'all, since y'all, since I gotta leave Florida and go back home today because I got 138 orders yesterday between the two last two days, that I have to go fill from Soup Cosmetics. I wanted to do a little video because this is what I do twice a week and how I keep my skin that good. Like, like really looking like it's supposed to look. So, I love you too. Thank you so much. And so, um, first of all, I'm going to just tell you this. There's some things that you can do for your skin that's just for you, like water. Drink a lot of water. Um, there are also certain vitamins. Um, biotin is one of them that you want that gives your skin an elasticity. When they say black don't crack, it's because we eat a lot of bi bi biotin, B I O T N, -T B I O T I N. All right, so, so what I did just now was I let the shower run so I could get that steam. Um, some people burn water and put their face over the water to just kind of prep your face. It opens up your pores and just kind of gets everything flowing over there. So um, what I did was, listen, let, let, I took a bath, but I let the shower run. So now my face is just, I know my pores are just open as I am. Thank you. I love it here. But I'm leaving. I, I came out for a little two-day vacation, but it looks like it's going to be one day because I have some of my orders. So also, I want to do, just take this opportunity so everybody can see how to use the cosmetic products. This is also going to the tube, so you can see that. All right, so the first thing I'm going to start with is your Sip Cosmetics Facial Tea. Now, this right now is sold out yesterday. So this is sold out. I haven't waited on a shipment, but I use it, and I use this pretty much daily. And so what it is is a sugar scrub. And why this is important is because it is made of pure cane sugar, and it gently kind of exfoliates and gets one layer, because you have several layers of just really dead skin on your face. And so what it does is kind of get that first layer, which is the important one, which is the deadest skin, per se. And it kind of gets that out and just kind of gives your face like a clean slate type feel. And so, thank you. And so that's what I use first. I also use this daily. Now, what the routine you see me do today is something I do twice a week. Most people do it once a week, but I do this twice a week. Because girl, I got a good skin. And so with the sugar shoulders, I just take it, mix a little bit of it. I take it from my hand, throw a little bit of water on, on it. And just do that there. You make sure you get your, your problem areas. And it's, it comes on light. It's very gentle, but you can feel the, the sugar in it. You can definitely feel it. You can feel the sugar. And it's like a cleanser slash mask slash slash thing. And this is what I use first. And so this is the facial tea. And it has some eucalyptus tea. A lot of my products you'll see are tea infused because green tea, white tea, all kind of stuff is good for you. And it's good for your skin for real. No shade. And so I don't put it on heavy, 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 but I do put enough on, I do it liberally and just kind of give my skin a good scrub. And you can kind of, you can feel it going in there. You can feel it kind of scrubbing in there and you can feel it. And what it's just doing is kind of like gently, it's not very abrasive and what it's doing is just gently, um, kind of getting that dead skin up, right? And that's what you want to do. Now remember, my pores were really, really open because I did let the shower steam first. I do recommend that. Some people borrow water and put their head over the steam. Don't burn kill yourself on that. But I do recommend that. And once it goes on, this comes right off. And so what I do, just take a towel. The city of private cell with acne. Yes. Yes, they fight acne like a mother. Because I was a victim of acne, but in the form of shave bumps, because I pretty much shave uh, pretty much every day or every other day. I don't like hair on my face. I don't. And so, um, just kind of wipe it off. So this helps with, your, your whole entire skin re regimen helps with acne. This is product, it's for all skin types. It's not harsh, so it's perfect for sensitive skin. Um, it's not um, overtly, it's not like a harsh abrasion, like a chemical peel or anything, but you can see the dead skin. Come on, I'm gonna show you how the towel afterwards. Now this is not I'm saying my face is dirty or nothing because this is, it does have some um, 
activated charcoal in it as well. Activated charcoal is real good for your skin. And it just kind of helps with the elasticity and stuff like that. Bop. And so this, uh, that was, that's what came up. That's like a layer and you could feel it. Like now you could feel, okay, bitch, I got a new skin. You could actually feel it. Your skin feels softer. It does. And as I'm looking in the mirror, I can like see. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So the next thing that I do is this. And this is the product that I love the most. So, and this is some product I also use every day. Um, okay, so now my face is, this is a new layer of skin. So now I want to tone it. I want to condition it. I want to get everything that's toxic away from it. I want to do that. And so what I use is T Hazel or Bitch Hazel. So this is the T Hazel bottle. This is what I'm using. As you can see, I do use my own products. I'm not like some of these other people that don't use what they got. Okay, the, the other one was uh, Facial Tea. I am sold out of that, but so you can't even order right now because I just sold out yesterday on that. But what happens is um, it will be back up hopefully in like a week on the Facial Tea. And it works brand new layer of skin. Nothing's on my skin. This is like a fresh layer of skin. So what I want to do is I want to tone it. I want to condition it. I want to do all those things in one. And that's what Bitch Hazel does. So you go to the website, stepcosmetics.net, Bitch Hazel. And let me see about this product. It's four ingredients. It's Witch Hazel, um... Eucalyptus tea extract, water, and clinical grade alcohol. What that does is antibacterial properties. And so I want it on that new layer of skin, right? And so, okay, right? So this is what I use next, and I do use this every day, and I do use this liberally. Uh, if you can't do the clinical grade alcohol, or you have ultra dry skin, try using the Bay Hazel, which is the kind that doesn't have alcohol. But Bitch Hazel is fine for combination skin, early skin, and it's semi-natural. It's like, you know, it's that girl. I promise you. You're gonna, this results. So what it does is, this is going to fight your acne, this is going to fight your bumps, this is going to fight your blackheads, but it's also going to condition and even tone your skin. Go look at some of my older pictures, see how it's dark up here, light up here, purple up here, green over there. But now, as you can see, my skin is coming more even tone. Now, it's a condition, it don't happen overnight, but it's a conditioning thing. So what I do basically with this, take the other side of the towel, liberally dab it with this, don't add no water or no nothing, and then put it over my face. And you can feel it, the eucalyptus tea part of it, is really like waking up your skin like it's coffee to you it's like coffee to your skin cells like I, my skin automatically feels rejuvenated with this i swear i put it all over and i just dab it like that i can feel it working automatically it does not have a tingle but it has a refreshing feel okay and that's what i do and i do that every morning now if this was a regular morning right bitch hazel t hazel has a has drying properties and so right now if this is a regular morning what i would do is i would moisturize which i'll tell y'all in a minute and be out the door all right so but this is not a regular morning this is one of my facial mornings and so what i'm gonna do next is the next part about this is my facial so now i got my face conditioner i let this sit for a minute or two just let it kind of saturate in my skin then i then i will now if it's a regular morning i will moisturize with my tea face mist. Let me say something right this right quick about this, but this is going to come back in a minute, in a, a little later. But, with your tea face mist, right? Don't use hand and body lotion for your face. It's not for your face. Cocoa butter lotion is not for your face. Shea butter lotion is not for your face. St. Ives, uh, Neutrogen, all that's not for your face. Because your face has different skin than the rest of part of your body. Okay? <laughs> Period. <laughs> Get you out of here. So, hold up. And it also has eucalyptus tea extract for the bitches in the background. It does contain eucalyptus tea. And so, whatever, whatever. So, okay. Now, stop using lotion to moisturize your face because it clogs up your pores and probably is 80% of the problems if you're having skin problems. No shade. You don't want to, you don't want to, you do not want to do that. So I, so I have, I got this tea face mist. Use a face mist, look into them, even if you don't get mine. But look, two tea face mist, it has, green, it has green and white tea extracts. It locks in moisture. It does not clog your pores because you're about to open these suckers up. And they don't want to be clogged. They want to be open. That's what causes bumps and blackheads and everything else. It's like we want these things closed. <laughs> these want these things open. So this doesn't clog pores. It doesn't, and it leaves your face. And it actually moisturizes better than lotion anyway because it's a mist. 
and it literally locks in a lot of moisture and keeps your face hydrated all day. Why y'all be saying I have that glow? It's because I use tea face mist. But I'm not finna put that on right now, but if this is a normal day, I will spray and I'm out the door. That will be it for a normal day. However, today's not a normal day. Today is my facial day, which I do twice a week. And so my next one is probably my favorite, but it's gonna take the longest. Now my hair's a little messed up and a little tussle, so I'm gonna put this on and then do my hair with something else, but not really because I don't sell hair products. But this is Bay, and if y'all don't get this, y'all is crazy, and y'all should do this once a week. This is my charcoal mask. Activated charcoal, uh, infused with uh, eucalyptus tea and a, a lot, a lot of good, good stuff. Uh, earth clays, and guess what it does? All right, anything bad, anything toxins detoxifies, gunk, Anything that's deep inside, it's going to get this sucker out. And that's what it does. Now you put this on, and I'm going to put this on. Let it dry. And then wipe it off. The drying process takes about five or ten minutes. And that's when we're going to talk and chill huh, to my hair. <laughs> All right. So it smells good, you can tell. It's just like it put up a layer on. It's not like one of those chemical peels or one of them harsh masks that you got to peel off that could get stuck and mess you up. It's not like that. But it is kind of like the right consistency. Now, this is perfect for all skin types as well. Um, I do recommend doing this at least once a week. Uh, I do it twice. That I mean, you got to do it twice. You got to kind of find what's a con good condition for your skin. This is really what they use in salons. And just you can really do this yourself. Um, with the activated charcoal, um, I do have an article at SilkCosmetics.net about how activated charcoal and the properties and benefits that it has on skin, especially black skin. Um, it's all simple. Um, this is also preventative measures because it does prevent breakouts and stuff like that. It does have tightening properties. It's going to tighten your skin. It's just actually like good, good, good all across the board. You cannot miss this. This is also available at SilkCosmetics.net. And it's the activated charcoal mask, and I love it. This is my baby. Y'all know I like to do this. Y'all have seen me in this many times. And so I just put one little light layer, one little light layer over my face. Bop, bop, bop. I'm loving it. This is really not a long process. It probably takes about 30 minutes to do your face. Once a, once a week, 30 minutes. The rest of the time, it's like 15 minutes. I do, this is not an everyday thing. You do not charcoal mask every day um, because there are some things that your skin needs that you don't want to do this every day. Let's just put it out. And you put a light layer on. And girl, this is your salon in the bottle, girl. And she's available. You want this. And pow. <laughs> so you put her on. Leave her on. 10 to 15 minutes. 10 minute minimum, 15 minute maximum. And there you go. She's very safe, she's very effective. This is a charcoal mask, you will love her. All right, now, go look at my old pictures. Go scroll down, it's gonna take you a while. And you will see that I have these raccoon-like eyes. Okay, as you can see, now as I'm getting older, I'm starting, I don't have them as much anymore. And the reason because of that is the herbal eye gel, cucumber melon. Okay, you know why we put cucumbers in your face? It's the capsaicin. The capsaicin and the cucumbers and stuff like that and the acids and tend to constrict, constrict, constrict the, 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 the uh, that's why they put cucumbers on the eyes when they do this. Um, well, this is that in the bottle. Um, it's the herbal eye gel. It's a cucumber extract um, and it has a lot of botanical extracts and it does act like that. So what I do, I do this every day, every night when I go to sleep and um, so if you have those rings around your eyes or you starting to get that uh, like I did and all those things around your eyes, this is for that. I don't put the charcoal mask across my eyes, but what I do is while I'm doing my charcoal mask, I do put this on because you probably want to leave it on as long as it is. And so, oh, hold on. This is a new bottle. <laughs> gotta open her up. And then we go into my hair. Then I gotta put the cord, cord my hair because I gotta get ready. So. It smells good. So this is the herbal eye gel. This is what you do right here. So just kind of lightly put it around your eyes. That's it. A couple dabs. So the products last a while. It's like you get a lot. So put it right around your eyes. 
And that's it. Let the, now let that sit and let that sink in. So now you're, 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 you're combating the the lines, the wrinkles. It's like as we age, as I'm getting older, girl, you're going to get <laughs> these things are going to happen. Stop putting that palms on your face. And I'm going to tell you why in a minute because it's going to clock because that's my next step. So I let this dry. And if I say something stupid in the comments, please screenshot it. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much. The link should be in my bio, but if it's not, I'm going to definitely put it there. <laughs> Um, and so this is my facial routine. This is how I keep my skin looking good. This is what I do. Let me go get the thing to do my hair and we'll be back in a minute. All right, so while we, um, while we kind of waiting on this to kind of just do its thing, I'm gonna talk about something. Because I spent really an hour on um, <laughs> typing into a, um, a burn page. And I feel bad because somebody got to see me, girl. <laughs> and it's not even that serious. I don't even do that with the burn pages, girl. And so <laughs> I don't know why they're playing with me. But okay. So let me just say this about the baby thing. Yes, I am over it. Now, first of all, I am gay. That's obvious. Okay? That's not even a question. So, first of all, you cannot say I'm anti-gay or self-hating or placating to the straight community. I'm gay. It doesn't matter. I can't placate to the straight community because I'm gay. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, I'm gay. I'm gay and I'm a proponent of LGBT rights. But I'm also a sensible person. Okay? Listen, the baby says something stupid. As a gay man, I'm not gonna support him. I'm not, I, don't listen, I would never really listen to his music at first anyway, but when I'm doing my DJ stuff on Big O, or when I'm actually in the club or something, I'm emceeing, I'm not calling for his music or anything like that. So that's my thing, I've done my part. All right, that's cool. You know, I don't like it, it is what it is. But let me tell you something. First, I don't play Kate to the strict community. You know why? Because I play Kate to the truth. And if the truth disagrees with the straight community, I'm going to tell them. But if the truth disagrees with the gay community, I'm going to tell them too. Okay? So this is what I'm saying. I'm over it. <laughs> I'm tired of it. It is too much at this point. It makes no sense anymore to me. Like, for real. <laughs> it just doesn't. It's just, it's just, I'm over it, girl. I'm really over it. So listen, as gay people, so first of all, this is my part. Okay? The part he said about AIDS was obviously wrong. However, people living with HIV and AIDS, listen to me, people living with HIV and AIDS, guess what? It's not the death sentence that you, it was 10, 20 years ago. People living with HIV and AIDS, guess what they're living now? Normal lives. They're living as, they, if, you if you take care of yourself and take your maids that you're supposed to be taking, you're gonna live a pretty much a normal life. It's not the death sentence. I know people with HIV. I know people with, I know people that actually, actually died of AIDS because I've been around a long time, girl. You know, my grandma in the gay community, to be honest with you. So I know people that's been around. And guess what I'm telling you? I'm gonna go ahead and get you up out of here. You look like you're ready to go. All right, so. Yeah, I got it. So anyway, so it's not the death sentence it used to be. It's not, it's not that no more. It's something else, right? So let me say something. With that being said, does that make it? Does that mean I need to be shamed? Fuck no. But also, does that mean that AIDS is less serious? No, fuck no. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is this. What I am saying is this. Not one single person living with HIV and AIDS was negatively infected, uh, um, impacted by his comment. Not one. Name one person that said, oh my God, the baby don't like me anymore, I'm dead. That has HIV. Like, who did he, you know what I'm saying? Like, who did it affect? It affected him, because he's a dummy. But how did it, it, did it affect any one single person that's living with HIV and AIDS? Not one. <laughs> he cannot, how can a dummy, and so the more so at this point, people living with HIV and AIDS have a thing to do, and that is live. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to live. Regardless of what he says, 
regardless of what it is. Now, when it comes to now when it comes to um the the gay community and AIDS, guess what we do to each other every time? You know how many times a bitch to say that I had AIDS? A thousand. <laughs> Anytime they don't like me, guess what they say? Shake got AIDS. So the gays cannot talk about this. I have done it. Y'all saw me, I lost 20, I lost 19 pounds and some change. I go get weighed in again tomorrow, so I might have been more. But guess what they say? Now you saw me at the gym. You saw me working out. You saw me not eating. But guess what the fuck I got? Because that's what they say. Soon as they mad with me, I'm fat as all outdoors. If I got anything, y'all should sure intend it to my stomach. But anyway, soon as you get mad with Shaky, guess what? Oh, that bitch got AIDS, bitch. So as far as the gay people is concerned, we do it to each other. Y'all don't have a y'all don't have a dog in that fight. And let's be and let's just be real with it. Y'all do not have a dog in that fight. But, and that's just being honest. That's not self-hating, and that's not nothing. That's just being facts. The second gay people get mad get mad with each other, the first thing they say about them, the other person that they're mad at, that bitch got AIDS anyway. That's the first thing they say. I've done it. Every gay person on the face of the planet has done it. Oh, bitch got AIDS. <laughs> so at the end of the day, miss me with that one. Now, people that are infected with HIV and AIDS have the propensity to probably live longer than some of the rest of us, to be honest with you. With that being said, I think that people that are living with HIV and AIDS need to ignore the fuckery. If you don't like the baby, you don't have to like the baby and don't like the baby if you're living with that. But at the end of the day, and I wouldn't wish that on nobody, but I think this brings awareness to people with promiscuous behavior when it comes to that, that topic. I really do. And so that's the one argument that people are saying that is the big thing. But to me, it's not a big thing because it doesn't affect them directly. How on earth did him saying that either dictate whether they live or die? The only thing they could dictate is whether they live. So that's what I'm saying. Like if somebody talk about, if you get on there and talk about fat people, that don't affect me, bitch. I'm going to eat anyway, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> you ain't going to stop me. So you can't stop me from doing nothing. You can talk about black people, ugly people, whatever you want to call me. But guess what? It's not gonna stop me. So at the end of the day, what he's saying is matter should matter not to people that's living with HIV and AIDS. It should not matter. And, and truthfully speaking, I'm not saying don't be don't be sensitive to the subject. And he doesn't have a right to shame people. But guess what? Eight people living with HIV and AIDS shame his stupid ass back. Fuck, fuck him. So at the end of the day, I'm not I'm not exonerating what he's saying. Okay, at all. He's a dummy, and I agree with that a whole hearted percent. I'm just tired of talking about the dummy. The fuck? <laughs> like, I'm, it's, I'm over it. I'm tired of getting asked about it. I'm tired of listening to it. I'm tired of watching on my favorite blog sites. I'm just over it at the end of the day. Now, as far as the gay part about it, technically, he said people that was sucking dick in the parking lot. Now, it's time to wipe this off, y'all. All right, just so y'all know. Whew. And it comes right on off. It's not like you gotta scrub it off. It comes right on off. You do gotta wipe it now. It's not like it's a, it's a charcoal mask. So it does, you gotta wipe it, but it does not, it ain't like it's gonna kick. <laughs> like some of the masks I be seeing people with hang. Oh shit, that water hot as a motherfucker. This fucking hotel. Florida, everything hot down here, baby. And so, okay. So my point about the whole matter is, People that's gay. Let me see that something. The baby is probably gay in all the world. <laughs> no shit. I was just looking at him sometimes, and he probably just as gay as anybody else. And that's just no shit. Whoo! And this bitch, this skin is giving. Bitch, this skin is giving to this morning, bitch. Oh yes, that worked perfectly. Ooh, that was a good motherfucker. Ooh, that was a good thing. Period. 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 Oh, bitches, give me. I love this light too. <laughs> All right. So, um, 
Right now, I just put on my lip plumper. You put this on before your lip gloss or anything, it just gives your lips that full look. It's like vitamin E and vitamin C and vitamin all these different vitamins, girl. And it kind of like enhances your lip. Put this on for your favorite lip gloss or lipstick. This is available at SipCosmetics.net as well. It's called Sip Gloss, but it's not really a gloss. It's a lip plumper. It just gives your lip that full look. Because this is different skin than anything else on your body. See, I put nothing else on this. Just kind of give it that, that full look without going and get Botox and stuff. <laughs> Thank you. Do you only use your products? I only use my products. All right, so everybody got this in the house. This is cocoa butter. That's what it is. Everybody got it. And it's perfect for your hands. It's perfect for your feet. It's perfect for your legs. It's perfect for your body. It's not perfect for your face. You have to moisturize your face though. Your face needs moisture. The air is dry. The sun is hot. Everything is trying to fight your face. Everything is trying to dry up the moisture that's in your face. It's a struggle. The air condition is not this dry air. Every, everywhere you at, it's dry, dry, dry. And so what it's doing, but your face needs moisture. It needs it, it craves it. Your body's 98% water. I think your skin is like 99. It's like a lot of water here. And so what it does, it needs that hydration. It needs that lubrication. It needs that. And so what you do is not use that on your face because you need the moisture, but you don't want to clog your pores because it's going to defeat anything that you just do. That's what this tea mist is for. It is a moisturizer that does not clog pores. The face mist, and it's so simple, you spray it and go. And your face, that glow is yours the rest of the day. That glow is yours the rest of the day. It use, it use, I don't use Coda Skin Care. <laughs> I don't use Coda Skin Care. I use Sip Cosmetics. Tell me. I don't, who said that? I should block them because I think they're being stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Get out of here. All right. <laughs> You being stupid. So I have a whole system. They got some stuff. No shade to them. Good luck with them and to their products. I love Shell. Shell's one of my best friends. All right. So, um, and that's what I do. And that's it. it I'm going to be hydrated. It lasts about 12 hours. Some people keep it in their purse. Some people get it some of the squirt around it and they know this skin's job. You know you going out in the sun and are you gonna be sweating or something? Are you gonna be doing something? Keep you a little something to keep your face moisturized and watch the results. And that's still cosmetics, and that's my regimen. I do that whole regimen twice a week. I was doing it on Mondays and Mondays and no Mondays and Thursdays. Then I switched to Tuesdays and Saturdays, and so now I'm kind of back on my Monday Thursday kind of schedule. I don't know why, but that's just kind of what it is. So, um, so this is gonna, so this is gonna be my skin, and. Thank you so much. And so it's just be be taking care of it. And so I could just definitely see the results. I mean, I've been, okay, I've been using it for my, over a year. So I've been using my products for over a year. I use my products. And so I've been using it for over a year. And so I know that what they do to me. And so I can see, I can look in my face. I'm looking in the mirror right now. I can look in my face and I can see like the fine lines, the wrinkles are not there. The skin, my skin is more elastic. I am literally looking younger than I am my age. And people, when I tell them I'm 38, they be like, what? Girl, I thought you was 21. I'm like, oh, thank you, sister. Period. <laughs> so, yeah, and that's it. So, I don't think gay people need to be so upset with the baby. I think they need to be a little less sensitive, and I think they need to just let the motherfucker go, especially if you've canceled him already, number one. If you really canceled him, it's like, okay, fuck what he's talking about. Oh, fuck what's going on with him. I don't care. Because I don't. I don't care. If you cancel him, he's canceled. Let's go on. Who's the they got somebody else we can talk about. And then the second part about that, can look, I can't stop looking at my skin. It's just so, this mirror gives me life on this skin, girl. All right. <laughs> it just is. And so the second part about that is, like, <laughs> What? The, why are we still talking about this? Like nothing lasts this long. Literally speaking, I had a whole issue this week, last week or something, a whole situation, and we're not even talking about it. No, nobody cares. Nobody cares about the other person. Like they don't want us to talk about me. But like, and, and we're still talking about the baby. Like I'm over it. So I'm, and, and still, I love y'all still But this is why it made me prompted me to talk about that. And when I posted it, it's because y'all send me everything that happens. Y'all send me stuff. Y'all, everybody's every day send me. What you think about this? What you think? Oh, girl, who cares about him now? Or whatever, and it's like, girl, I'm tired of it. Like, girl, please don't send me no DMs about this girl no. <laughs> like, I don't care anymore. Like, she's been canceled in my mind forever. She been canceled because 
She's been canceled already because to me, I like, bitch, I like, bitch, I like Lil Baby better, bitch. Lil Baby, to me, fine as a motherfucker. I'll suck them nipples. He got big old dying piece nipples, bitch. I'll suck them bitches all day, girl. Okay? So I ain't people. So I'm not heard about the baby girl when Lil Baby's girl sent me the hot one. But anyway, that's a whole nother thing for a whole nother day. Um, they just following the lead at that point. And so it's not me being anti gay. I'm very much so pro gay. Fuck. <laughs> Girl, you know what I did in Florida? Girl, I'm pro gay like a motherfucker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm pro gay like a bitch, girl. I, you, I don't even think you would get more pro gay than I am. So, anyway. Alright, so that was Sip Cosmetics. They are available at sipcosmetics.net. Y'all check them out. All of y'all something. Um, and whatever, whatever. I'm going to do orders today. I'm going to go back home. I'll be back home um, this afternoon. So, all your orders will be going out tomorrow. Um, everything is in stock except the facial tea, um, but that'll be in stock in a couple, in like a week or two. Be back in stock. All right, I love y'all. Uh, do I stay? I haven't had a boyfriend in a year. What are you talking about? I don't do promo no more, and this is why I don't do promo. Okay, because I have to do customer service for people who don't do right when I promo them, and that makes no sense. <laughs> I'm explaining. That's a whole other video for a whole other day. I'm alone in this thing. <laughs> anyway. I haven't had a boyfriend in like a year. What y'all talking about? I've been single for like a year. <laughs> Do I still have a boyfriend? Bitch, I haven't had a boyfriend in like a year. The last boyfriend I had was like Zane. That was like last year. No, I haven't had a boyfriend in like a year. What y'all talking about? <laughs> What happened with the girl that went to go, the boy that didn't text you good night? What are you talking about? I haven't had a boyfriend. My last boyfriend was dead and I was like 2019. I'm not playing in your face, I'm being real. The guy I went bowling with when? Who? I went, the last time I went bowling was in New York. That was in April. That was with Robert and Kool Aid. What are y'all talking about? I change my number like socks. No, I don't. The young dude, what young dude? All my boyfriends are older. I never had no young dude. You said he was big. Who y'all talking about? The youngin. I have no idea. I have no clue what y'all talking about. Like for real. <laughs> I'm not being funny. Like I really don't know. <laughs> Who? Y'all really making stuff up on me. <laughs> Stop doing that. I don't know what y'all talking about. I've never, I've never messed with no, dated no young boy or nothing. Who y'all talking about? Puss, bitch, that was in 2018. Who y'all talking about? You just went bowling with a young boy that does music. No, I didn't. <laughs> Prove it. <laughs> I was not bowling with no young dude last week. What are you talking about? I surely was not. <laughs> what Y'all must be seeing things. <laughs> Who y'all talking about? I did not go bowling with nobody. What are y'all talking about? I haven't went bowling since April. What are you talking about? Girl, I must have memory loss like Super Saiyan because I don't remember what the fuck y'all talking about. Girl, that's something else. That's, that's something me and Super got in common, girl. I don't know who y'all talking about. I have no clue. I did not go bowling. I have not. I haven't had a boyfriend. I haven't had a boyfriend for a year, for like a year. I had to have a boyfriend for real for like a year. I don't want to leave. I'm good right now. Check your DM because I just sent you pics and then you're going to be blocked too. And why would you have pics of that and you will go be blocked? You're going to definitely be blocked. You might want to unsend them. <laughs> you took them out to eat afterwards. Y'all had mozzarella sticks and appetizer. I have no idea what y'all talking about. I don't know what y'all talking about. Well, he had you on his story. You know how many people had me on this story? I don't know. I get, girl, I must have memory loss because I don't know what y'all talking about. I have, I do not mess with no young boy. I do not deal with no young boy. I'm so, no, I'm serious as hell. I don't know what y'all talking about. The guy you was eating out with, never happened. <laughs> yeah, that person is, if you send me some pictures or something, bitch, you getting blocked. You better unsend them. So you better do that right now. Who remembers the meal for real? I don't. Why you gonna block me? If you sending me pictures of something that I don't remember, I'm going to block you. So unsend them. Who you was snacking on? I don't know what you talking about. I've been chilling. I'm sorry to this man. I don't know this man. 
I have nothing to be talking about. I told him to call them. You have to prove that to me, I don't know. I was at the gym with him. I don't know who y'all talking about. I don't know who y'all talking about. My son is 13. I tell him who y'all talking about. That never happened. Never. It never happened. No, I don't. <laughs> I was not with him. I, I was not with him. Y'all lie. <laughs> y'all are definitely lying. I was not with him. Okay, keep your receipts all you want, but I wasn't with him. You can't make me be with somebody. I was not with him. I do not know what you're talking about. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just listen. Listen to me, okay? Listen closely. I love y'all. I don't know who y'all talking about. I have no clue on earth. Scrub, bitch, hazel, mask, this spray. Yes. Period. And open. Okay, I don't know. So you got to go. Use I don't like how you even come on. Let's, no, no, no. Come live with me, cause I'm trying to see what the fuck you talking about. <laughs> let's get this clear real quick. <laughs> I don't know who y'all talking about. I've never heard of him. Come on, live, girl. Don't be scared, now. You saying yeah? Yeah, I know. Come live. That's because if you saw me something, that's Photoshop. That's all I'm asking, Sip Nation. <laughs> Come on, sister. I thought you said, I thought you said I know. Let me go. Come on, sister. You say you say yes the fuck I do know. All right. Come on, sister. Come on. Oh, you getting black? What you want? And I got some tea to post today. I don't know who that is, what y'all talking about. I don't know these people. I've never said, okay, good, good day. Good day to you. Good day to you. She don't want to talk. Girl, that wasn't me. Girl, I said it wasn't me. It wasn't me, bitch. <laughs> Period. That wasn't me. That was somebody else. And in the picture they talk about, bitch, that's Photoshop. I don't know nobody. Y'all got to be realized that people, people be talking about you that don't know you. They just to, just to get some clout or some name recognition. I've never seen this person in my life. I don't know who y'all talking about. <laughs> and that's on period. <laughs> people will Photoshop stuff just to get clout. That's what people do. I don't know these people. <laughs> I'm sorry to this man. If I see him walking down the street, which I don't know who the fuck he is. <laughs> What's up? Hello? What's up? What's up, Hey. Um, show your products, right? So my son has like acne on his face. What would you suggest? He has what in the state? Acne. Real bad acne. He's a teenager, but it's okay. I don't like it. Let me tell you something. My products are formulated for adults. They're safe for kids, but they're formulated for adults. When you're going through teenaging and going through puberty and, and, and even through menopause, it's a hormonal change. So honestly, mm -hmm. and this is just honest to God, nothing I have can stop what God got going on. And hormones and coming of age is something that God got going on. He's just growing up. Now, there are some mm -hmm. things to combat some of the symptoms and stuff like that, but I do recommend taking your child to a dermatologist. I could be a fake bitch and say, just buy my shit to try to make a sale, but I would never do that. If your son okay. is, is going through acne and puberty, that's something God mm -hmm. got going on. It's his hormones. And so what, okay. you, what you should do is probably take him to a dermatologist. But if you, okay. I was you, I would take him to the dermatologist. I have a product that's formulated for men called Bro Hazel. But what is it called? Bro Hazel. It's on the website at Sipcos. Okay. I would take that and show that to my dermatologist and ask if it's right for my son because it's at that age it's hormone. Ain't nothing really okay. nobody. He just kind of got to almost go through it. But there are stuff. There are things to mitigate the circumstances. Like is he being properly? Is he hydrating? Is he drinking the water? Or those things? Yeah. Are those things okay. are kind of like internally. Um, there are some vitamins that he could take that could be better. I will be a, some a fake bitch to tell you, yeah, my product will fix it, but that's not true. Nothing you could buy really could fix it, to be honest with you, because it, it, his body is a hormonal change. It's not like when we're adults, our hormones are set in and everything like that. And use the skin problems that we have as adults is come from mm -hmm. the weather, dry skin, the sun, the conditioning, our diet, things that we could buy stuff for. When it's when it's a skin problem because of a, a teenager, it's not because he's not clean or nothing. It's just his hormones. His hormones are raging. 
more than what I was would as an adult. And that's, yeah. and, that, and that's what it is. So I would definitely take him to Don't Hollywood, but I'll bring my website, screenshot the product list that I have and see if that's good for him or if that's something for him because a dermatologist would know better. But nine times out of 10, outside of something that's prescription, it's probably just hormone. Not saying he got to go through it. Yes, keep his skin clean, drink more water, you know, and maybe watch sunscreen if it's a sun thing. Where you at? What, what area of the country are you at? Uh, we're in um, Illinois. Okay, so that's cold dry, right? Okay. Yeah. Cold dry, all in the same day. I say it could be cold and it could be cold and hot all in the same day. Okay, so this might be the next thing about it because it might be some kind of weather stuff too. But um, cold dry air, I would moisturize a lot more too if I was him. Just I know that in my mind, Chicago is cold dry. Okay, one second. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes, I'm checking out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. Girl, I didn't even know it's that time. It's just so dark. All right. No, okay. Don't put no bleach on that boy. Take him to the dermatologist. They'll know. Wait, <laughs> somebody put bleach on him? No, girl, don't do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I'll do that. I'll just have him. Um, just probably get some moisturizer or something. So once he walks it, I do sell a moisturizer. I will plug myself. That's better okay. than like some kind of cream moisturizer, which tea, which is tea face mist, and it contains green and white tea extracts. And it doesn't okay. weigh heavy. It doesn't bulk down on your face, and it doesn't it doesn't clog the pores. It's, okay. It's good for is it light? Very light, but it, it, it okay. locks in, but it locks in a lot of moisture. It packs up. It actually moisturizes better. Clinically tested to moisturize better than a cream moisturizer. See, a green okay. moisturizer just locks in moisture by clogging pores. This locks in moisture without clogging the pores, and your skin will love it and everything. Um, but again, like I said, take it to the to make sure. But this is, and it's safe. It's just it's semi-natural uh, white green tea extracts. It's got a lot of fruit extracts in it, and it does tend to keep you very moisturized and hydrated, which might be a problem with that cold dry air. All right, so. Yeah. We'll try that then. All right. Thanks, Shaky. Yeah. Have a good day. Bye. You're welcome. Okay, so listen. Ambi is good for you. Might not be good for her. And could you refrain, y'all, from um, <laughs> pro like motherfucking <laughs> promote other people's stuff on my platform? They didn't pay me for that. I just want to use their products. Thank y'all. I ain't paying for no other day. They got me fucked up. I, one of my friends got this for me. At the end of the day, that's gonna be on them. But they work for um the hotel chain that I'm at. Bitch, I want to stay another day. I didn't know it was twelve o'clock, bitch. It got <laughs> let me see what happened. That's the <laughs> it, it got me fucked up because of the time zone difference. All right, so I love y'all. Let me go ahead and get my shit out of here, girl, and get out these people. Nice little Florida bitch, and carry my natural black ass back to Louisiana. I will talk to y'all when I get in the car. I love